This is a video to show my learners how much information they need to record in their video for their mousetrap car for build one and build two. You will start your car on a course that you have set up at home that needs to have at least five meters. So you can see we have five tapes on the floor and we have a, I've marked off a meter stick that's in different colors for you. So you can see the red is at one meter, the black is at two meters, the yellow is at three meters, the blue is at four meters, and then the meter stick ends at five meters. So we need to find out how far our car goes, how much time it takes, but we also need to know exactly where the car is when the lever finally goes snap. So we're going to release the car and I have to move with the car. And ready, three, two, one, go. So the lever is pulling. We've passed our five meter mark. And then we would stop the video. I would show you that the front of the car went to 9.6 meters. There's my car, went to 9.6 meters. And then I would have to analyze this video to see exactly where was the car when the lever went snap. If your car does not, you'll notice the lever now is at the front of the car. If the lever ended up only spending this much energy, then I have to measure this angle with a protractor and know that it, it went from here to here and I'll have to convert that angle in radians. Otherwise, my angular displacement of my lever is pi radians, which I would record as 3.14 radians. Um, so I will have gotten the mass of my car, I got distance, total distance, and total time, but I have distance to spring snap and time to spring snap, and that means where was the car when my lever finally went snap and spent all of its energy? Because uh, that's when it's still pulling. That helps me to calculate maximum velocity, um, force, change in momentum, everything. So the analysis of my car on this tape measure is very, very important. Okay, so you would, if you have trouble getting the mass of your car, make sure that you take your mass to uh, you're welcome to bring it to school and use our scales. You could take your mass to a pack and ship place and ask them to mass it on their, on their scaling uh, that they have available to you. I guess you could try the grocery store. I mean, you have a lot of options to get the mass. And then to get the rotational inertia, remember you have to measure the mass of one wheel and the radius of one wheel to get the rotational inertia. And, and then I am assuming if you've connected learner, you have a car that has CDs for wheels. Okay, uh, you have about 12 measurements and about 15 calculations or eight measurements and seven calculations. Can't remember off the top of my head right now on that sheet. So hope this helps you see what you need in your video. I will want to know how much time your car took to travel five meters. And then I want to see in build two that it traveled that five meter distance faster next time in less time. Okay.